Turning now to election stress disorder. And yes, it is a real thing. With the craziness of the 2020 election on everybody's minds 24-7, some of us are feeling a bit overwhelmed by it. Our political reporter, David Martosco, is here to break down just what to do if November 3rd seems more like doomsday than election day to you. The New question Supreme is, Court justice, the radical question, left, will you who shut is up, your, man. Listen, who is, does political chaos stress you out? 73 million people watched that debate. If it pushed your blood pressure into the danger zone, you've got company. I was keeping pretty zen about the whole situation until I watched the debates, and then that went out the window, and I have been incredibly stressed. I'm getting a lot of emergency calls on resentment and anger. Therapist Dr. Steven Stosny says Biden and Trump are giving many Americans panic and fear. In 2016, he gave this all a name, diagnosing people with election stress disorder. But what we want to do is to replenish the Social Such a Security nasty Trust woman. Fund. And if you thought 2016 was bad, from snippy sniping to all out war. You could put half of Trump supporters into what I call the basket of deplorables. Stasny says it's worse this time around. If you don't mind letting me finish, we can Please. then have a conversation, okay? Please. Okay. Even people like Geraldo Rivera, who writes and argues about politics for a living, can't resist getting roped in at home. I think Donald Trump is extremely unfairly treated. I disagree with my husband. We have a president who lies, 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 and lies. Dr. Stosny says exercise can relieve political anxiety. Writing about your stampede of dread helps too. Or do what Marsha Palanchi does. Turn off social media and completely avoid the subject. I'm very careful not to, to bring up politics. Otherwise, that would be the end of the friendship. It, it would just be too volatile. And if you do find yourself in a war of words, take a step back. Be respectful, be kind. It's hard to get any word in with this clown. With a little politeness, your relationships just might survive until the next election. You have to give your spouse space to be whoever they are. We're both very much interested in what's happening in the world and we like to discuss it. It can get fiery at times, but we love each other so much and we try to keep the sense of humor about it. Well, I just stood up, up, sir. With a billion sir, dollars, if you that is if absolutely you know what, you're, wait, not wait, wait, true. Experts say the extended COVID lockdowns greatly add to our stress, but the election just amplifies it even further. November 3rd really can't come soon enough.